They're gone all over to the other side now. Where are they going? These carps in here are probably about 16 to 18 inches long. It must be the latter part of spring. And as time goes by, they realize that they're... There's food in the place. Fish seems to be attracted to the sound of the water coming out of the spigot. And here they see that I am here, so they all seem to be coming in this direction. I'm, I'm talking to the fish and the ducks. Oh, they're going away now. But the fish is here. Now we've got two of them that we need to discuss things with. While they leave, the turtle comes in play. Sometimes it's just not a matter of food, but a matter of being with a company. The size of this one here is about 18 inches. From where I am, I can reach down and grab him. But I think he will probably pull me down. Let me tap him on the shoulder with this stick. Ah, they have left. This is an experiment in regards to whether we can duplicate this pergola or gazebo. And here we can see the pipes and the bamboos going across the top of it. And eventually the beans are being hung in there. And this represents many years, because if you look closely at the beans, you can see how they have grown. This is the little gazebo in front of the pond in the Japanese garden. Spring has come, the ducks have hatched, and the people are coming out celebrating the graduation of their children. The 
inside of this little river area, you see a lot of large carp. <laughs> and here's the mother taking all the ducklings and moving them to another place. And they follow. The fish has grown big in this area now. <laughs>